next big feature I need is text rendering. The first step to building that feature is going to be rendering textured quads. So that's the goal for today's video. First, I need to set up an OpenGL texture and fill it with some test data to see if I can sample from it in a shader. To create a new texture, I need to call glgen textures and then glbind texture. To send data to it, I also call gltextimage2d. Right now, I don't have any texture data from a font or asset file. So to test things out, I'm just going to write some code to fill in a block of memory with a simple pattern that I can recognize once I get it to show up on screen. In order to use my new texture, I need to send it to the shader. First, I have to use GL Active Texture to control the active texture slot. The texture slots are another layer of indirection you have to go through to sample from a texture. Since I'm using a texture slot 0 here, I have to set the sampler uniform to 0 as well. I set this uniform by calling GL Uniform 1i. You might think you just set the uniform for the sampler to the texture handle, whatever the ID is that we got back from GL Gen Textures, but that's just not how it works. You have to go through these extra layers of indirection set up by the texture slots, the, the GL Active Texture thing. So a zero in the uniform tells it to use slot zero, and then whatever is bound in slot zero is the texture that actually gets used. Next, I need to set up the fragment shader to actually use its sampler so that I can finally see if this is working. Right here, I'm not getting the results I was expecting. So I figure I have a bug somewhere and I go looking for any ideas that might help me understand what I got wrong. Finally, I figure out what I did wrong. So in OpenGL, textures have parameters that you can configure outside of the ones that are set in the GL text image 2D call. Some of these parameters are required for the texture to work under certain conditions. Since you set these parameters with a totally separate call that mutates the existing texture object rather than creating something new, it is very easy to forget that you are supposed to set these parameters. So anyways, once I realize this is what's going wrong, I can set the parameter with GL text parameter I, and after I add the calls to set the parameters, the texture starts working as I was originally expecting it to. Next, I need to be able to control the UV coordinates for each of the rectangles that I draw separately. So to do this, I'm going to need to set the UV coordinates in the vertex attributes that I'm sending to the shader. That means I'm going to have to fiddle with the layout of the vertexes in memory and update the shader and get all the indexes realigned again. So that fiddling takes a little while so that we can actually set those UV coordinates. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, with that, we've got textures and UV coordinates up and running. So next time we'll take a look at how we're gonna load our fonts. See you then. Thank you.